What do you think of your teammate EJ Vizo? Is he fast? He's always fast. Is he crazy? Um, I think everybody's really crazy in this world, but uh, get him really well. And um, hopefully Motegi, you know, with KB racing all of us, you know, it's going to be competitive, so you do. And um, of course, and Hideki too. Um, there's a Honda collection museum right next to the track. I'm sure you've been there. Uh, what do you think of the museum? Is there any favorite car or motorcycle you see in that place? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very impressive and a big collection and very clean and tidy. And um, I, could, I could see my, um, my race car was there too. And, uh, and always I enjoy it. I go there and see all the Honda histories and not only for the uh, uh, Formula car, but also, you know, the GT cars and touring car and the motorcycles. And, and uh, I mean, every single year Honda tried to put everything together for the Honda Sanks Day. And uh, I've been doing for that event too. So I have some experience in the Motegi Oval that bearing in mind I'm driving a slightly different car though from the Indy car. But, you know, it was side by side with the motorcycle in the Oval and such a great feeling. And all the, all the cars in museum is learnable. So basically that's uh, the very different from the other museum. And uh, I think everybody enjoy it. I know you, uh, you're a very healthy eater, I would say. Is there anything you eat specifically before the race or you try to think of? I mean, EJ has pasta and rice. He eats anything? Yeah, I'm always uh, trying to tip him, you know, what's the best for the food. But uh, no, I think it's, um, it's just, just, you know, to avoid it too sweet or too oily stuff that you just maintain too much. And uh, you don't want to put uh, your sugar levels too high. But, um, you know, basically just carbohydrated, you know, it's like plain pasta. And here we are in a Honda mode home, you know, you can have a life. Sometimes it's like a udon noodle and things like that. Uh, it will help for your just energy and uh, put some fruit on it, and vitamins. And I think that's a key, the way to just keep and maintain your, your health. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, right now we're in Sparta, Kentucky. I'm assuming that you don't have a lot of guests, <laughs> friends coming to this race, uh, but leading up to Japan race, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of phone calls from friends you haven't heard of perhaps for 10 years, for the passes yeah. maybe, but, and obviously you have your fans, families, a lot of sponsors. Uh, what, it, what is it going to be like for you for the Japan race? I think, I think it's going to be chaos in, in, in a good meaning. Uh, I mean, here in Kentucky, it's not too much demand on me, but uh, because it's so close to the Indiana Post, I think the team will have a lot of uh, families and coming together. So uh, still, uh, they want to use up my uh, ticket too. But I think um, I think in Japan, I think I need to create back from other drivers maybe to help uh, because I think so many demands, so many demands, and particular in the person sponsor has been helping so much. Uh, I mean, in Rush we will have a special booth, and Greco will have a special event over there too, and so many other sponsors. As we're taking a huge uh, cheering uh, mm -hmm. stuff, so um, I'm quite looking forward to see all, all of them, but also the uh, fans, families, and you know close friends, you know all uh, potential sponsors, possibly, hopefully, you know they will all really, really demand to come into the paddock to see it, and I'd like to really show them what it's like in Dika because they simply don't know, you know, this is such a such a highly competitive uh, series with this great equipment and there's such an open paddock and a friendly atmosphere. I think everybody's going to really enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, just make sure who you're going to collect the passes from so I could go after the other guys. I'm also, I'm going to need some passes, so we'll work together. <laughs> yeah, we'll work together. Okay. Cool. Um, for you, I mean, what does the term Honda racing means? Obviously, they have uh, been in racing for a long time. Everybody knows it's a you know huge motorsport company, uh, and you've been part of the pinnacle racing the Formula One for them. So, do you have any thoughts to that? Yeah, I mean, Honda's name is always coming, bearing, you know, coming people's head because of racing. You know, the racing DNA is the Honda's uh, uh, the philosophy. Uh, you, you know, obviously, you know, Mr. Sergio Honda's days is completely unique and and uh, very very challenging things to going outside of Japan to try to put everything together and then win the glove the, uh, the highest uh, highest performance and uh, it's always has been and uh, fortunately I uh, was a part of a family for a long time and then uh, doing extensive both Formula 1 and IndyCar and uh, very proud very proud and very pleased of that and um, hopefully you know Honda's this racing brought this continues and growing up for the uh, Indica series. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.